Hey everyone, welcome back to QuantProf. Today we're going to solve an Optiver Quant interview question. Check the description for more Quant interview resources. Let's look at the problem. Alice and Bob are playing a game on a 5 cross 5 grid. A marble is placed at the top left corner of the grid. In one move, a player can move the marble to an adjacent square, and diagonally connected squares are not considered adjacent. For example, Alice can move the marble to the right on her first turn. Once a square is visited, it cannot be visited again. So the marble cannot be moved to the top left square after the first move. Next, it's Bob's turn. Suppose he moves the marble one unit downward. After that, it will be Alice's turn, and the game continues. The player who cannot move the marble loses the game. So if Alice goes first, who has a winning strategy? Pause the video here if you want to give it a try. The solution uses a technique called proof by coloring. You might already be familiar with this technique if you know the mutilated chessboard problem, where the question is whether it is possible to place 31 dominoes of size 2 times 1 to cover all the squares on the mutilated chessboard. Proof by coloring is a very common technique for grid problems. Now let's look at the solution. We color the entire grid in pairs of 2 as shown. On her first turn, Alice will have to move the marble to the first square of a pair. Let us assume she moves the marble to the right. Bob can simply move the marble to the remaining square of the pair with the same color. Then Alice will have to move the marble to the first square of another pair. Let's assume she moves the marble to the blue square. Bob can again move the marble to the remaining square of the pair with the same color, and so on. So Bob will always have a square to move to, and hence Bob has a winning strategy. Let's consider a quick follow-up. Once again, we have a 5 cross 5 grid, but this time the marble is placed one square to the right of top left square. Other than this, the rules of the game remain unchanged. If Alice goes first, who has a winning strategy in this case? Try to solve this on your own. Hope you liked the video. If you want to learn how to solve these kinds of interview problems, we invite you to check out our course Quant Interview Masterclass, where we teach you how to think when solving difficult problems. We also cover the entire theory specifically tailored for quant interviews, along with over a thousand problems. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Until then, Godspeed.